The endless sleep comes for us all. You can say that again. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I'm gonna go through Codlack's things. Oh, look at this. Another one of those gems. It's a wolf's helmet. All right, here it is the fragment of Wuthrad. Avengers amulet. Let me see this. Wow. While blocking with the shield of Iskramor, shield siblings, siblings near you increase their magic resistance by 20%. Blocking with Wuthrad reduces elves' melee weapon damage by 20%. Wow, that's, that's really special. All right. Codlax journal. In my dream, I see the line of Harbingers start with Iskrimor. Each of them ascends to Sovngarde until we come to Terfig, who first turned us to the ways of the beast. He tries to enter Sovngarde, but before he can even approach Sun, he is set upon by a great wolf who pulls him into the hunting grounds, where Hercene laughs with welcoming arms. Turfig seems regretful, but also eager to join her scene after a lifetime of service as a beast. Then I see every next harbinger turn away from Sovngarde and enter the hunting grounds of their own accord until it comes to me. I see great sun on the misty horizon beckoning me. It appears I have a choice and then at my side, a stranger I had not seen before. As I look into his eyes, we turn to see the same wolf who dragged away Turfig, and he and I draw weapons together. I realize this is only a dream, but a strong enough dream to inspire a man like me to take to writing, so it must be of some import. I've spoken of my thoughts to the circle, withholding the part about the stranger, lest skewer worry I will no longer seek his counsel, and I was not surprised to see them torn by it. Skior and Ayla are strong in ways of the beast, and even seemed to suggest that the hunting grounds would be their choice of afterlife, if it were truly a choice. Vilkas seemed most troubled. The boy is as fierce as a saber cat in battle, but his heart's fire burns too brightly at times. He felt deceived, and I don't blame him. Farkas didn't know what to think, but I believe he will come around with me and his brother eventually. He usually does. I don't know what to do about Skior and Ayla. I know they respect the companions in me, but they take to the blood more deeply than the rest of us. Fortune smiles upon us. Yesterday, Vilkas was telling me how it had been for him to give up his transformations until he can pursue a true cure. The twins and I have chosen not to give in to the beast blood. For me, it has provided a cleaner head, but Vilkas seems to be suffering a bit for it. Farkas seems completely untroubled. That boy continues to amaze with his fortitude. While Vilkas was confiding through the shadows of Yorvaskar, I saw a newcomer approach who wished to join our members. It was the stranger from my dream, the one who would stand with me against the beast. Vilkas began speaking obliquely, not wishing to air our problems in front of our guest. And I had to be doubly cautious to not reveal anything of our secrets to the newcomer while also not revealing the details of my dream to Vilkas. I don't know how the politicians deal with these sorts of mechanizations daily. 
In any case, I've sent Vilkas to test the newcomer. We will see if he is truly the great warrior I dreamt of. This newcomer, it seems, is made of decent stock. He calls himself Zur, and has already impressed some of the circle with his metal. I still keep my own counsel on his place in my dream for now. Let us see what kind of destiny he is carving before hitching to him. In the meanwhile, I look for ways of cleansing my blood. The writings and legends on the subject are sparse and contradictory. I don't wish to engage any wizardry on this matter, but I fear they may be the only ones who best know how to navigate these worlds of knowledge. It is apparent to me that Turfig's choice to turn us was indeed a mistake. Magics and their ilk are not in keeping with the spirit of the companions. We face our problems directly without the needs of such trickery. I can only hope to guide us back to the true path of Iskramor before the rot takes me. Zur continues to impress. I don't know yet where he will stand on the question of the blood, but the question has not been presented yet. He does know that we carry the beast blood and appears curious about it. Soon enough, I can explain our troubles and hopefully see what role he will play. I am amazed that Ayla think she can keep a secret among this drunken rabble, especially with the loss of Skewer. My heart aches. Emotions are fraying, and the walls of discretion are the first to fall. Apparently, she and Zer are waging their own separate war against the Silver Hand. Now, that's not true. I, I did not engage in that in retaliation for Skewer's death. Instead, I helped the people of Skyrim. As befits a warrior and a companion, I did not drag myself down into petty revenge. But anyway, he goes on to say that their hearts are noble, but the course of vengeance is running hot, and I fear the counterstroke that may come if they do not rein in their fury. I'm saddened that he thinks that I was uh, involved in Ayla's plot. Zur shows valor even in this more underhanded time. We have not had cause to speak much, and that is something I deeply regret. I have high hopes for his destiny, as I realize that his appearance in my dream may indeed mark him as the harbinger to succeed me. I have received few dreams over the course of my life, but when they come, I have learned to trust them. I have also learned to trust the instincts of my heart, which tells me that Zer can carry the companion's legacy as truly as any residing in your Vasker, especially with the loss of Skewer. Ayla is too solitary, Vilkas too fiery, and Farkas is too kind-hearted. Only Zur stands as a true warrior who can keep a still mind amidst these burning hearts. I will not speak to him of any of this, though. It is too much to burden another with. My hope is that he and I can keep counsel over the coming years that I can impart the wisdom of the Harbingers, all things in time. Firstly, I will seek his assistance in the matter of the witches of Glenmoral. It would appear that our path to the cure is not without some poetic justice for the tricksters who first cursed us. Oh, that's it. After he sent me after the witches, he was killed. All right, I'm going to keep the journal here. He wants me to be the harbinger. Can you believe that?
All right, let's go find, um... You know, I hate it when I forget these names. The Blacksmith. I wonder if, uh, Yorlin knew that that journal was, uh... in Codlack's drawer for me to discover. Back. Yes. I have Codlax Fragment. Thank you. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. All right. Thank you. Hmm? Gore? Where have you been? Sherry, come on. You know what? I ain't much for talking. Oh, you know, we still, you still have that, um, that pitchfork, that ebony pitchfork. We need to get rid of that. I keep saying that, and you keep hanging on to it. I mean, at least I got Gore's helmet back, and I want to see about tempering it when we can. Come on. I think you all are welcome to come in. The old man had one wish before he died. And he didn't get it. It's as simple as that. Being Moonborn yeah, is not are. so much of a curse as you might think. I mean, Gore is. has the beast blood That's in him. That's fine for you. But he wanted to be clean. He wanted to meet Iskramor and know the glories of Sovngarde. But all that was taken from him. And you avenged him? Godlack did not care for vengeance. No, Farkas, he didn't. And that's not what this is about. We should be honoring Kodlak, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. Kodlak used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You know the legends of the tomb of Iskramor. There, the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without Wuthrad. And it's in pieces, like it has been for a thousand years. And dragons were just stories, and elves once ruled sky. What? You all in? Just because something is, doesn't mean it must be. The blade is a weapon, a tool. Tools are meant to be broken, and repaired. Is that... Did you repair the blade? This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield brother here. The flames of Hero can reforge oh. the shadow. The Look flames at that. of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthrad. It's and enchanted. Now we'll take you to meet him once more. Um, who? I guess I need to talk to Yorlin. Excuse me, Gore, Sherry, Yorlin. Nope, not you. You now? As the one who bore the fragments, okay. I think you should be the one to carry Uthrad into battle. The rest of you, prepare to journey to the tomb of Ysgrimor, for Kodlak. All right, well... I guess we'll have to meet them there. Okay. Looks like... Ysgrimor's tomb is this way. This is where that coral atronaut was. I hope there's not another one. That thing scared me. than I thought. Yep, yes, but more too. This is the resting place of Iskramor and his most trusted generals. You should be cautious. Are you not coming? Kodlak was right. I let vengeance rule my heart, 
I regret nothing of what we did at Driftshade. But I can't go any further with my mind fogged or my heart grieved. All right, then. How do we get inside? Return Wolfrath to East Grimor. It should open the way. Why do we need to be cautious? The original companions. Their finest warriors rest with East Grimor. You'll have to prove yourselves to them. It's not that you're intruding. I'd wager they've actually expected us. They just want to be sure that you're worthy. Be ready for an honorable battle. Mm-hmm. All right, Sherry. I think you should wait here. You're the only one that doesn't have beast blood. I've got your back. You go on ahead. All right. Thank you. All right, Gore. It's you and me. Be careful. <laughs> A Daedric war axe. For Kotlak! Alright, we'll worry about this when we come back. Be careful! Get him! You know, Ayla, we don't need you crying out about some Never should have come here. Uh oh, ghost. over here trying to fire this man. Good enough. All right, Gore. For Codlack. Yes. All right, doesn't look like there's anything else. Okay, more ghosts. Well, why is it chasing me? Get it. I'll rip you in half. 
Okay, there's more. Oh, that's Ayla. Another one somewhere. Where is it? Did we get them all? No, there it is. Get it. Come on. Rush it. I can't go any further, Shield Brother. What? What's the matter with you? Ever since Dustman's Cairn, the big crawly ones have been too much for me. Are you kidding Everyone me? Everyone has his weakness, and this one is mine. That's not a weakness. I'm not proud, but I will stay back with Vilkas. Give my regards to Ysgrimor. Is someone there? <sighs> Alright, well... Arachnophobia, that's a real thing. I uh, hope you all are gore. Come on. <laughs> Hope you're ready. Huh? You think I'm afraid of you? Oh! Get him! Yeah, don't just stand there. Move out of the way. some of this venom here. When I was in the dungeon, a bunch of guards used to torture the prisoner in the cell. Oh, there's time. more. On your guard. Sleep comes for us all. You can 
say that again. Good night. What are you doing that for? What am I doing that you're asking me? What am I doing that for? Watch okay. what you're doing. You know, Ayla, you're like a mother hen sometimes. Oh, wow, there's a excavation site in here. much uh, experience as I can. Uh-oh. This isn't good. finish. in here. Codlack. Greeting, shield brother. Is that you? Of course. My fellow harbingers and I have been warming ourselves here, trying to evade hearsay. But there's nobody else here. You see only me because your heart knows only me as the Companion's leader. I'd wager don't have a leader. you would see half a dozen of my predecessors. And I see them all. The ones in Sovngarde, the ones trapped with me in Hearsay's realm. And they all see you. You brought honor to the name of the Companions. Thank you, I tried. You soon forget it. Vilka said you could still be cured. Did he now? I can only hope. You still have the witch's heads. Excellent. Yes, yes, I Throw do. Throw one of them into the fire. It will release their magic. For me, at least. Where is, uh... Where's Goa? Okay. Just in case something goes wrong. What was that? Oh, look. Thought I heard something.
whatever that thing was is immune to sunfire. Greeting, shield brother. All right, we've killed the spirit beast. And so slain the beast inside of me. I thank you for this gift. The other Harbingers remain trapped by hearsay. Perhaps from Sovngarde, the heroes of old can join me in their rescue. The harrowing of the hunting grounds. It would be a battle of such triumph. And perhaps someday, you'll join us in that battle. But for today, return to your vessel. Triumph in your victory. And lead the companions to further glory. Godlack? Did I hear right? Did he say you were to lead the companions? Did I hear right? Did he say you were to lead the companions? The companions don't have a leader. But does this upset you? I'm just surprised, but your strength and honor are apparent to all. And it's my honor to be first to address you as Harbinger. Let's go tell the others. Okay, I think we need to make sure we've got everything that's here before we go. Ancient Nord Helmet. I'm probably gonna need you, Gore. Is this Iskramor's armor? Hmm? Gore. What the? Let's Come go. on. Will you go get off of there? you're trying to do. You want that Iskramor's armor for yourself. All right, I'm already over encumbered. Well, here. Just remember. You're going to get to wear it. Everything's better bloody. I know it's better bloody. That's why Just I gave you the werewolf blood. The food. I figured you would appreciate it. you would put all that all right, on. Then. Look at you. Okay, come on. Now, you would think that they would have a key here. Necklace of Prosperity generates 15 gold per hour. I'll take these Welkin stones and look at this. Iskramor's shield. Incoming attacks from elves deal 25% less damage. 50% while blocking. Bashing reduces the armor rating of armored elven enemies by 100 points for 10 seconds. Somebody certainly doesn't like elves. So isn't this the way to go back? Alright, I'm over encumbered again here. What do you need? Just leave me all the food. Take this shield. Let's go. Po 
potion of vigorous healing. Okay. For a minute there, I thought it was poison. Ah, I did it to myself again. It's not easy trying to collect stuff. Just to leave me for the your museum. Food. You'll probably use the battle axe as well. All right then. All right, let's go. Hopefully, I won't see anything else that I want to pick up. Uh oh. Oh here. back. Oh no. I remember now there is this Daedric War Axe. Broken iron sword blade. Oh, okay, I can still carry it. Sherry? We heading out? Yes, we are. Let's get going. Some tough companion business. Um, I suppose I can take Isgrimor as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Just leave me all the food. I'm sorry. Wuthrad. <laughs> Wuthrad 25. So it does additional 30% damage against el elven races. Sideways power attacks hit all targets in front of you, dealing bonus damage against elven targets. So wow, between that battle axe right, and the shield, elves don't stand a chance. <laughs> all right, let's let's get back to your Vasker. I think. Wait a minute. Where? What happened to? Okay, the, the brothers are gone. All right, let's go back to your Vasker. We are done here. Codlack is at rest. All right, here Way we are. The way the here talk about battle. Don't know why they don't build themselves an arena. This city's as... The place as any. So these are my quarters now. seem to grab that coin purse to save my life. Oh well. All right, we have a lot of uh chores to do to get you out of that armor and whatnot, so why don't y'all make yourselves comfortable for the time being? What is it? Almost two o'clock in the morning. I think we'll call it a night here. And then we'll take care of our duties in the morning. <laughs>